<sighs> a lovely day to rest at an outdoor cafe, isn't it, darling? Everyone working here is a capable server and knows how to address you properly with my lady. I'm here for one simple thing. Information. With a careful ear to the goings-on, a shrewd businesswoman can gather all the latest news. Oh, there she comes. That girl in green with the bouncing feathers in her hat. Don't worry. She can't hear us from here. Of course you do. Isn't she our lively little cockatoo? She says she's a psychiatrist, but with all the work she does for the people, she's more like Vienna's own Robin Hood. Oh, look at those people around her. With their gold cufflinks and patched sleeves. Very likely they're from Leopoldstadt. You can hear them saying, Our golden era is finally here. Forget all these melodramatic rumors. Maybe you know it by a different name? Perhaps you caught a glimpse of it under the list of exhibit sponsors? Europe at that time welcomed people from all over the world. Its culture and art held as their highest ideals. Its institutions believed they held the keys to paradise. They once believed that they were the lucky few. Blessed with the wisdom of a golden age, that's why they still linger here, even after the smoke of war faded the glimmers of gold away. It's not surprising to see Our Lady with them. See, she loves to seek these well-hidden things and chirp along with the most overlooked voices. But I feel sorry for her, because she herself overlooks some of these teeny tiny things said at her own expense. Words taken as jokes, ignored because her wishes and anticipation outweigh their sting. But while songs are floating in the wind, the clock keeps ticking. People in the cafe talk about the secessionists and the newest plays in the same breath. No one cares about the rumors trafficked in the newspapers. They're only concerned with what is in front of their eyes. Still... The good doctor comes to share the pain of that melancholy lady, and then next to the cafe, to encourage the lower class to persevere. She says that every man is entitled to the same rights. She'll draw a circle around them all like the ring road, or the round mirrors in her clinic. The good times will come again, so say the coffee sippers. But you know, in the end, They'll be like the undissolved sugar at the bottom of the cup. My dear, your coffee is getting cold. <laughs>